Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a crafty haul and I have lots of things to show you guys um, but first I need to share with you some happy mail that I received from a dear friend of mine and uh, it's from Diana and Toby of course and um, she sent me this box a couple weeks ago I just haven't had the time to share with you guys and I didn't want to open it I wanted to be surprised and I just opened the box right now and let me tell you she made this beautiful chunky charm um, dangle it's so pretty and I, I did write your note Diana it's beautiful so let me share with you what she sent me uh, she did send me this really sweet note <clears throat> and it says dear friend Natalie thank you for your friendship and for your support through all these years appreciate you always love Diana and Toby she's such a wonderful friend you guys I don't know her personally but <clears throat> you know you meet people and you can really feel in their words and the way they act um, that they are kind-hearted and they're really nice people and Diana is one of those people she used to be here on YouTube on uh, and Instagram as well but um, she was having a lot of problems uh, with nasty people being rude and all this stuff you know how it is um, and it's sad Look at look at this beautiful chunky charm that she this, that she sent me. I'm sorry, so beautiful, Diana. Thank you so much. Look at that, how cute. Love this bow. Everything about it is so pretty. I need to find a place for it in my craft room. Very beautiful, Diana. Thank you so much. You probably spent a lot of time making this. I really love the colors. Thank you so much, girl. Lots of hugs to you and, and Toby and kisses. And then she also sent me this um, other keychain. She has a cute little bunny on there. And a little bunny butt. So cute. And then she sent me some um, sequins. I love these containers. They're really cute. Some of the black ones I can use for Halloween and other collections. And then she sent me um, some cut aparts, some paper, so she sent me some paper and cut aparts, little notes, these are cute. And she made some paper clips, and these are, I um, can't remember what you called them, gosh. What do you call that? Um, oh god, my mind just went blank. Anyway, she made these uh, really cute clips. Very cute. And some things to take notes on. Things for journaling. Put them in a journal. Look how pretty that is. Thank you so much, Diana. You're so sweet, girl. Everything's so beautiful. Thank you so much. So that's from Diana, you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys have uh, probably seen her before here on YouTube uh, and our Instagram. She's a really sweet girl. So thank you so much, Diana, for, for that. Lots of kisses to you and Toby. I will email you shortly. Okay, you guys. Um, so... Let me get started with this haul because there's a lot of things I gotta share with you. So let me get started. Um, let me see. So I'll start with dies and um, some stamps and a whole bunch of stuff, okay? So let me get started. I did pick up this um, Tim Holtz Scarecrow die. And this, this is a retired die. And uh, this particular die I did get from my Tim Holtz dealer and um, she, She's always, um, she always has a lot of the retired dyes. So if you guys are interested in any dye or looking for a particular dye, let me know and I can give you her contact information where you can probably find some of these older retired dyes. They are, um, you know, they're not cheap because they are retired, but um, she's really good in having, in, you know, um, having some of these dyes available in her store. This one I did pick up from eBay. I've been wanting to get this one from his last release. 
and this is around so you can probably find this on eBay or um, scrapbook.com or you know any website like that so there's that um, I was missing this um, village dwelling um, add-on for my uh, dwelling collection so I was happy to have found this at a very good price and this is just like the add-ons to the house okay and then I did find this uh, bewitching hour die and uh, I don't have this one in my stash so I was very excited to have found this so uh, this one came out in 2010 so it is a couple it's been a couple years and then I found this one as well this one I didn't have it was always going up for it was on bids for really high so I was happy I finally got it for a really good price and this one's the packages and bows and uh, you can make those let me show it to you Let's see see how that looks <clears throat> sorry you guys my voice is a little raspy <clears throat> so there's that and then I was really excited to have found this one as well and this one is the pumpkin jack and this one there's some add-ons um, little faces that you can um, purchase separately to add to this and this one is a movers and shapers okay and then I found this one as well I've been looking for this one for a while and this one's the picture wheel okay and this one's really neat and then also I found this one right here and this one's a really old die from his collection uh, this is the movers and shapers uh, small I can't remember what it is tiny shapes that's what it's called very cute and this one is the ATC and corners and this is also the movers and shapers okay so I found some really uh, good deals on eBay. This was also a retired die. Uh, this one carries two dies, and it's also by Movers and Shapers. And let me see if I can find a name here for you guys. Um, I don't see one. Oh, Mini Heart Sets. It's in the front. Okay. And uh, it makes those hearts right there. And then. I was really excited to have found these. Uh, it didn't come with the original packaging, but I'm okay with that because these are just really hard to find. Uh, these are the mini bottles. Okay, here they are. No packaging, but I was really happy to have found them. I got a good price on them, I think. And then I found the bigger set. And... Um, so I think I'm kind of ready for Halloween to craft with these. These came out in 2000, 2013. So it's been a while for these dies. But very neat dies. And then this one's the bell jar. This is a really neat um, die right here. It's, it's, pretty, it's a really good size. And this one I had in my stash. And I saw a project where you can use the smallest deer and it fits right here inside this uh, belt jar right there. And this one is um, Ranger Flight. And this one you can find on eBay around. It's floating around eBay and they're pretty cheap. Maybe 10 bucks, 12 bucks you can find one. But um, I really wanted this die right here. So very excited about that. And then... This one I didn't have in my stash. This one I got a great price on. It was less than $20 and I was jumping in joy because this die um, is pretty rare. And uh, if you guys can find it a good price, then really good. Okay, so this is the graveyard. And I wanted this because I want to use it with my village dies. So very cute. Or on the back of cards for Halloween or anything like that. And then this one's a font. Uh, this one is a sp spectacular. Okay. And this is how it looks like. You get the letters and numbers. And this is also by Tim Holtz. Okay. I don't know if you can see it up close. Very cool. Very cool font. And it came with this one right here, the chip block. Um, it might come in handy later on. 
but uh, it came in a set and I got, I got a really good deal on this so I couldn't pass on that and then here's my Brenda Walton finds this one's a really old die um, this one is the Bix Texture Impressions this is by Brenda Walton and it makes that teacup and those flowers okay and it comes with the embossing folder that embosses the um, the flowers on there and the sections <clears throat> as you can see and it's called teacup bouquet I was very excited about that one this one didn't come with the case but hopefully you guys can see it okay and this one's the French favor box and it's also by Brenda Walton okay that's how it looks like very cute die um, oh I can't remember if I shared this one on my last haul but uh, this is another teacup uh, die from Brenda, Brenda Walton I'm sorry very cute die I want to make some projects with these okay so there's that and then can't remember. there's other dies I need to show you but let me I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this die right here it's a very cute die a nice size as well okay and then I picked this one up there were 40 off this week so if you guys are looking for any dies um, they're on sale this week so I would go down there and take a look this one kind of looks like that weird memory keepers that I hauled last time the same shape but when you put them together they do look different and they also had this one it's a travel theme it's very cute and then this one I did pick up for online I didn't have this one um, it has a lot of these characters are from his retired collections like the little pumpkin and I think the spider web I'm not sure about the cat but um, I needed to pick it up before uh, they don't carry it anymore or it sells out and it's going to be really hard to find later on okay so there's those and then I have some more of those big dies to show you before I get started on the uh, Spain dies let me do this like this Okay, this one right here is the Eileen Hall trinket die and this one uh, I did purchase it from Canada and uh, they were able to ship it to me I think it was twenty dollars to ship but the die itself it is pricey uh, but it's I didn't have this in my stash and I was like I seen some projects and I was like I need to have this and also Poochie had told me you need to get this die um, and it, it's really a really nice die to have it's called books and pages trinket box and frame Okay, I will link the website down below if you guys are interested or send me a message and I can send you the link um, to their <clears throat> to their store in Canada and then this one's another eBay find this is really neat it makes a card uh, it says card retro camera die okay it's a really good size as you can see really nice card size um, this one came out in two the 2013 so it's something you guys have to search up and look for you know I have no link to this particular one and then this one's also an eBay find I was really happy to have found this one it doesn't have the plastic uh, maybe I can find another die that uh, I can uh, get the plastic from but um, this is the candy jars and this is also by Eileen Hull okay and it makes those uh, candy jars right here this is a very neat die it's just too bad it doesn't have the um, the original pack the plastic you know but uh, here it is it's a really nice size okay very cute die There's those and um, let me show you all these other dies here before I get to the magazines. 
Uh, this one I did purchase a while back, and this is an Eileen Hall. It makes the um, little frame, the shadow box. I think that's what it is. And this is the biggest, the biggest size. And uh, Pucci made a project in her channel, uh, doing a little travel case, and uh, she could cut it. You can cut it down, so you don't have to get the smaller size. But if it's more convenient um, when you're gonna cut out, then you know I would recommend you get. Uh, but if you don't mind putting work into it, like just to make it smaller, you don't need the other smaller one. So there's this one. And then, um, let me show you these. I don't know. Okay, let me <clears throat> show you these dies. I've been holding off on these for a while now. And these are the Spain dies. And I did pick up from Lila's store and also Frank Garcia. I usually carry these dies, but um, I didn't carry them this time around. So this one is for um, this is from Avril, and this is Laura Velora, and I makes this really cute um, flower bouquet. Okay, very cute die. And then I picked up this one as well. This was tags. Um, I can't, it doesn't say what it's called, but it's very cute though, it has a lot of little tags on there. I don't know if Frank still has these in his website, but he might. And this one makes uh, all kinds of uh, garden, like it has all these garden tools, you can make a little, um, little crate of flowers with the other flower dye, very cute. And they're a good size too. They're not like mini, mini dies. They're a good size. Okay, so there's those. And I did um, buy these embossing folders as well. And this one is the um, uh, vintage flowers. And I love these, the size of these uh, folders. I did have the bow uh, embossing folders in my shop. Uh, those sold out. Um, I didn't have these though. I didn't order them for the shop. So I picked them up uh, for my stash. And then I also picked up these uh, stitched, what are these called? It's just a stitch die. And I have some, um, I have some ideas with this die. Okay. And then this one's also stitched, as you can see. So it punctures all these um, designs in your in your cardstock. Very cute die to have. And then I also had this from the Mint Feather, and this these are the numbers. These are huge. They're really good size. Uh, I also picked up at Frank's. I love the colors of these dies. They're really neat. And then I also picked up the um, the alphabets. Okay. It's also from Frank. Really, uh, really good size. Okay, we're almost done here. Uh, I did find some. This is a ledger stamp. A couple of ideas with these. Very cute stamp. And these, um, <clears throat> I was thinking garden party. I made some seed packets um, a couple of weeks ago, and I did post on my Instagram. They're right here. Let me show you. These are the ones that I made. I did use, um, I did emboss. It came with the stamp, the stamp and die set, and I did emboss the um, the uh, the stamp image on here, and it came out really neat. So I made that one, and I also made this one. You can see the embossing a little better on here. And like I said, these are on my Instagram. I will post my uh, post some links down below if you guys are interested interested in following me on Instagram. Okay, so there's those, and then so I picked up these stamps, and I was gonna use them to make uh, more of the seed packets, and these are by Elizabeth Craft Designs, and I did find these on Amazon, and I like that uh, it says garden on there and it tells you the meaning of that word right there behind 
So very cute, very cute stamps. And then this was also by the same company. The little girls with the bows are so cute. And there again, there's that, uh, it says flowers and it tells you the meaning. Very cute stamp. So maybe I'll do some more seed packets and um, use the stamps. Okay. And then these were from eBay. And uh, this web this website is uh, up and running, and I can link it down below in case you guys are interested. It looked like an older, it's probably an older company. Um, but anyways, these are the dies I uh, picked up. There's a little wheelbarrow. Okay. There's this one. Watering cans. This one right here. And then this one right here. Okay. Cute dice. Um, they're not bad. And then I picked up this uh, from Scrap Diva Designs. Okay. Uh, Pucci and I made a really cute um, project with these. And um, so I picked them up. There's a, uh, there's other couple of dies that I do like from her store. So I might do another order. But this one, um, she sells out pretty quick on some of her dies. So I picked this up. It's a really neat die. There's that. Uh, here's another Tim Holtz find. This one, I think Hobby Lobby has this still. I'm not sure. But this is the Tim Holtz uh, 3D embossing folder. And it makes that rose. Very neat uh, embossing folder. And then here we have uh, the seed packet. Uh, it's a die and stamp set. And this is from Crafter's Companion. Okay, so get all that. And then here's another die from Tim Holtz. And this one's a mini, mini bottle cap and stamp. Okay. And then, here's a stamp I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Oops, sorry. Okay, and that, they were 40 off this week, so in case you are interested. This one I did find on eBay, this cute little stamps right here for Halloween. And this ones are the Bitty Boos, and I think they're from Stampin' Up! They didn't come in its uh, original packaging, but they're okay. I got a good deal on these. This is really neat. And then I did find this magazine on eBay, and this one is a picture of elegance. I did pick up because of this uh, flower and this um, frame right here. So very cute. It did come with the embossing folder and stamps. I got a good deal on this. It is an older uh, magazine. But um, that was really neat. I have other magazines from Maggie Holmes that are older. Like, I um, can't remember the collections, but one of them was Carousel, and the other ones were Winter from Crate Paper. Very neat. And the newest one that I found was this one. Uh, this was at Joann's, and uh, these are around $20. dollars you can not use coupons on these. So I did find this one. It has the stamps and uh, different papers from the collection, and I'm guessing it's from Sweet Story. A uh, lady here on Instagram, she had posted, and um, so I went to look and found one. They only carry like around three per store. Uh, I heard that Michaels also carries them. Um, so I might look, you know, in those, in those two places, Joann's and Michaels. I've never seen them at Michaels, but, you know, they have stuff everywhere. And then also I went to Hobby Lobby. I picked up some cute charms. They were on clearance. Not clearance. Sale. I'm sorry. So I picked this up. I want to use some of these charms for my teacup projects. Uh, they had these really cute charms as sale, on sale as well. These were on sale last week. So I picked up these. And these cute uh, beads right here. So these were on sale too. I think these are new because I haven't seen them. 
And then these berry baskets that they have, these were 40 off. You get pink and red. So very neat. And then let me show you this stand right here. I did pick this up at um, uh, Joanne's Carries These. And they were 30 off this week. And they usually come in white. Uh, I did spray paint. You know how I like to spray paint things. So um, I spray painted this bad boy and it came out really, really neat. And you can use your, you can put glue, uh, glue sticks, scissors, or other, size, other stuff in there. I do have another stand from Wear Memory Keepers. And uh, that's where I ke uh, keep my uh, Lynn, Lily, Lynn Lily gun. I'm sorry. And, uh, but this one, I wanted in particular for my uh, my glue gun. Uh, these glue guns are available in my shop. Um, they're really neat, uh, really good guns. They're from Alua Cid, and these are from Spain. I do provide an adapter for these if you guys are interested. I did do my order. The, my order's in already. Sorry. So uh, they should be here soon for everybody who did their pre-order. Just make sure you guys read the description before you guys place an order for these glue guns, okay? So here's the stand. It, fit, it fits perfectly on here. So it's very nice, okay? So there's that. Uh, I think it came out really neat. Um, I don't think I did a bad job with the painting. So, okay. So there's that, and I think that's it, you guys. That's it for my video. Uh, but there is one last thing that I want to show you. Uh, this is really heavy. I did pick up this machine locally um, here in my state, uh, and I did. A, I got a really good deal on this shot. On this shot, it's a big shot. Um, Sizzix Big Shot Machine, and this is really big, and it, it is in the color pink, and um, <clears throat> these were an exclusive for scrapbook.com a couple years ago, and somebody here locally was selling this, and I picked it up for $85, which I thought it was a steal. These machines are big, and they're really good machines. It's nice to have a hand crank one. You know, we ha I have the Sizzix... Um, the electric Sizzix from uh, from scrapbook.com. It's a great machine as well, but it's also nice to have a hand crank one, you know, just in case you need to move around. But this one's pretty heavy, and it sits on my desk, and it stays there um, in one of my desks because it's pretty heavy, and I don't want to move it around that much. So, anyways, you guys, that's that's all my finds. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you guys sticked around to the end, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Okay, bye.